here from the Cricket Boutique and today I have a Garrard and Flag, but this is the JN Garrard. This is the special stock. Okay, um, and these are sort of fairly limited edition sort of thing. You'll see that on the on the website. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit different to the standard Garrard and Flax. Um, and it is a very, very nice bat. But you'll see that in this video now. So, what we've got here then is the... So let's start with the stickers. So we've got the black mat with silver. And again, it's got the Taipei English Willow text on there. You probably won't be able to see because it's very, very tiny. Um, on the black, same again. We've got the black mat, silver, embossed, and the special stock sticker there. Right, let's get to the business stuff. Here we go. Right, edges. Good. Good size. And then what we've got on these, and again specs will all be on the, on the website. Really nice shape, I like that, I like that a lot. So what we've got then on the back is, you can see there, concave, we have a spine running right to the toe and all the way up through the splice. Front, a little bit of a bow. And on this one, let's say it's, this is one of the higher grades, plenty of grains on this one, there's still a little bit of hardwood, but plenty of grains. Hopefully, again, you can see that, but as with all the Garrard and Flak bats, what you've got is you've got this um, scuff sheet on, which has a bit of a matte finish, a dull finish to it. So you can't see through it quite as well as you can with some of the clear ones. But it also does help, <laughs> for me anyway, because when we're taking pictures and so on, what we don't get is all that glare off the, off the standard scuff sheets. But there's plenty on this one. Let's see if I can count them up for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we're ten or eleven there. Um, but yeah, nice, tidy front and back bat. Plenty of grains on that for you. I'll just try and show you that. So yeah, so a bit of an all-rounder about this, and not all-rounder in that sort of sense of an all-rounder would use it. It's a, it's got. A mid high ish sweet spot so yeah a fairly mid sweet spot but then it does have the spine running to the toe so I'm just going to compare this to the 220 which you may have seen depending on which one you watch first this has a, this one here is a very high well not very high but a, a mid to high sweet spot with a long duck bill and I just compare it with this one this one also is a shorter blade, longer handle. We're just comparing it. So we've got a similar sort of shape with this one, um, the special stock has a, what I'd class as a longer sweet spot. And say the added bonus, if that's what you, you like, of that spine running right to the toe. So you should have some forgiveness all the way down the bat. And finishing on this is really nice as well. Nicely buffed up, um, and then the handle again. We've got one of these hybrid with a, like a ripple to chevron handle, as again standard, similar. Well, I presume the same sort of stuff as the other Garrard and Flak bats. I'd want another grip on it. Somebody with smaller hands might not. It's just on the verge, but we've got an oval to so a slightly, slight, maybe still slightly oval at the top, but we're definitely going to more round. Pick up, and I haven't got the weight to hand on this one, but it will be on the website, it's all on there. Again, scroll down to past the pictures and you've got all the specifications next to all the other text. Pick up is nice on this one. It's not super, super light. If I was guessing to hand, and this will be a bit of a test, I'd say we're at about two pound 10-ish for this bat. That's what it feels like in my hand anyway. Um, but yeah, pickup is, is decent, it's, it's good. Decent is probably a bit harsh to be honest, but yeah, it's good. I'm just going to compare it to one of the others. Again, 
I think this is a lighter bat, um, and it does, and the, the video is available for this one as well. I think it's a bit of a lighter bat, this one, but again, this has got a long duck bill, so you'd expect it, with a, with a say, short blade, long handle, you'd expect it to pick up a bit lighter. I think this one, is again, is slightly heavier. It feels slightly heavier in the hand, anyway. But again, if I'm right, pickup is still nice on that. Yeah, front foot, back foot, take your pick on this one, I think you would be absolutely fine, especially when we get slightly warmer, a little bit more life in the tracks, this would be a good one, but again, because that spine's running to the toe, gives you that forgiveness. Right, I'll give this one a little bit of a tap up, old ball, wow, that's really, really, oh. really, really nice that. I'm just trying to go up and down the face again, and you can definitely see what where that toe comes into play with that spine running all the way down to the bottom, because there is a fair bit of forgiveness going down the blade. Again, if you're towing things, it's not going to go miles, is it? But that spine definitely does help. You can hear the, the variation, hopefully, coming through. When I'm hitting it, but that sweet spot is really nice. Pressing on this is good. It's not super hard. It's definitely not soft. The bear's porridge is just about right. So yeah, so we've got the uh, JN Garab. We've got the special stock bats here. Really, really nice about that. Good looking. Nice performing. Picks up well. Really good profile and shape on that, I'm liking that a lot. So that's it on this one. If you have got any questions or anything, please do find them in the comments below. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, if you'd subscribe, also hit the notifications bell as well so you do get that um, little ping every time we put new things on. Um, but all in all, thank you very much for, for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you later.